You already know that there are going to be a billion assignments in anatomy, and again, the purpose of all these assignments is to make sure that you're staying on task, that you're, that you're keeping up with the studying that's necessary in order to be successful in a class like this. Anatomy, you guys are going to need a lot of pep talks. It's a lot of content. It is a hard class. The good news is that you will have lots of opportunities to practice this stuff because I have 8 billion assignments in the course. At times it might make you tired, but in the end I know you will appreciate this. So first, we already know about the flipping clickers. 5% of your grade is based on you coming and participating in the clicker questions. And you show up to class, you get those points, although I reserve the right to change that if people are punks. People won't be punks. So that's easy. That's 5% of your grade. Just show up. We already talked about the external brain. The external brain is 10% of your grade. It includes the external brain exams, and it includes four different checks. So at the, when you, when, on an external brain exam day, you'll show up to class to take the external brain exam. You'll have your external brain out. If I can reach you, I will come around and I'll look at your external brain while you're taking the exam. If I can't reach you, you'll bring it up at the end of the, when you turn in your exam and you'll show it to me and then I'll just check it to make sure that you've actually done it. I don't do more than that as far as checking your external brain, and that check is 100% done to ensure um, that you are not, that you don't have illegal content in your external brain. It's not done to check accuracy. So the, the responsibility for being accurate is on you. And if you have inaccurate information in there, it's not going to be helpful on your exam. It's going to be hurtful on your exam. So um, all I'm checking is to make sure that you've done it and that it's legal content. Then you'll take your exam, and that's awesome as well. On a daily basis, every day at the end of lab, we will have a lab quiz. The lab quizzes every day. At the end of lab, we'll have exactly the same setup. There will be about 10 practical questions that are modeled after the lab practical that you will have in the exam category. And that means that you're going around looking at models, looking at slides, looking at cadavers, and checking, like answering questions. What is this pin structure? What is its function? Every day. Then there will be an additional five questions that are written that are modeled after the written portion of the exam. And it happens every day. The written, the, the lab quizzes are 15% of your grade, but the whole purpose is to get you set up for the exams. Four times in the semester plus a final exam, you're going to have a written exam. You'll also have a practical exam. These guys make up the bulk of your grade. The whole purpose is to set you up with all this other stuff so that you're rocking it so that you totally are prepared for the written and practical exams. The amazing thing is that each written, the written exam, I said there's four midterms. There's actually also a comprehensive written final on final exam day. The good news is that your performance on the written final if it's higher than one of your midterm exams, I'll replace that score. So if you in exam number one were like, holy crap, I didn't think she was really serious about the amount of time that I had to study, clearly she was, and so you rocked a, you know, 60% on that written exam, you got your doo-doo together and you started making it happen and you improved your scores throughout the semester and on the final you rocked an 80%, I'll replace that 60% with your 80% on the final. It's comprehensive. That seems fair. It gives you a level of um, redemption for the content, which I think is really important in a class like this where there's so much. Same thing with the lab practical. There will be a comprehensive lab practical exam uh, that will replace one of your lowest if that is necessary. Now, I actually had 
made this offer to my um, students in anatomy just this last semester, and like half of them improved their grades <clears throat> an entire letter. So it wasn't just, you know, oh, I got a couple percentage points out of that. When I replaced the lowest exam with their final exam score, they, it, it bumped them from a C to a C plus. It bumped them from a B plus to an A minus. It, it made a difference in their actual GPA, which I think that's pretty awesome. What else do you need to know about your assignments? I got nothing. <laughs> I think I'm done, but I'm telling you right now, I've recorded about 32 lectures because I'm doing all my syllabi lectures right now. Just three, that's crazy talk. Okay, I'm leaving now because I have one more to do. I hope I said everything you need to know. Bye-bye.